hey guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video we're going to discuss all about how you can create an animated login form using html css and also a little bit of javascript so here is a project that we're going to create it i click on the enter field right now as you can see the ad animation i will add something like that so this is the cool animation and yeah it's perfect project for everyone so let's uh, create that so I go to my code editor inside that have a basic structure of HTML CSS and script.js so I don't need to use the right so inside the HTML we will create a basic structure a basic way to design the form so write the container I uh, use h1 on um, login form um, then I'm gonna use form control after that I'll use input type input type is text and I'll use required then I will select the liable tag I leave the file and then I'm gonna use email so this is our first input field so I need to get that paste it second time the type is password and also we need to use password right then after that I need to use the button tag class is VTN this is a login I'm going to use class txt don't have an account and so this is our first we're gonna save it and I'm gonna open that in a minute in the browser right now as you can see so very simple form so I need to go on style.css inside that have a basic uh, reset properties like padding margin and box sizing uh, and font form but we're gonna design another things inside it so step number one i want to display the content in the center of the page so i need to use display flex align item center justify content center and i need to use hide 100 vh after that i will change the background with uh, a linear gradient and the first one is the 80 percent 80 degree 80 degree and comma rgba Mm, 255 mm. 0% and also we need to use RGBA and that will uh, 64 37 214 and 1 this will 80% so so uh, let's look at that what happened on the perfect then I want to change the color so I'll use color white right so yeah and also i will use overflow because i hidden the card i don't need to display the score ball or something like that select my container because all of the containers appeared inside the container so i need to select the container i'm going to use background rgb uh, 255 255 255 0 0.3 i will use spreading top and bottom 3 ram and also left one 3 ram border radius i will use 5 pixel yeah so 5 pixel and look at that so those are my extension icons don't focus on that select the container h1 tag i'm gonna use text align center margin bottom i'm gonna use 40 pixel is best then i need to select Container anchor link. I need to use text operation now and color right. After that, we need to select the button tag because the button is very important. So I need to use cursor pointer and display inline block color white and padding outside. I will use one ram font family. I will use inherit and font size 
one point one RAM is best. But uh, so model radius five pixel. So first we're gonna save it in a minute and right now what happened? Uh, Padding top and bottom. Of that, so I uh, can turn it back in a minute. So, in the container padding, padding, beauty, and padding one time. And font size inherit border radius inline block. Okay, with one hundred percent. So right, but I need to see few things. Mm hmm. Mm, okay, I will remove the color from this and yeah, perfect. So let's select that and we we'll use focus outline none. Then I will select the BTN actor and I'm gonna use transform scal uh, 0.98. So save and let's look at that. Click on that right now. Right? And then we need to select the form control because the content of input field is appeared inside there. So I need to select that and I'm going to use margin top and but 1.2 RAM left and right. Not that but 0 and 2 RAM. I only use with 300 pixels and then I'm going to select my TXT content that is used to display the text. So I need to make a space margin top 30 pixels. Select the form control inside that have an input field. So I will use background transparent and I will use border zero and border bottom. I will use two pixels solid and white color display block with 100% and padding top and bottom one RAM left and right zero. And I will use font size will be one RAM, color will be white. Right, so save and let's look at that right now. Hold. So let's select the input field. In the input field, I need to select the focus. I use comma and same thing, but this time I'm going to select the wallet. So I'm going to use outline none and I will change the border bottom color light gray color. So, so let's look at that. When I click on that right now, as you can see, the color has been changed. But I will add the transition, a little bit of transition, so I get a uh, 0.3 SI and out. So, so, so let's look at that right now, as you can see. Right, cool. So after that, I will select my phone control and say that I have a level tag. So I want to display the text like this one text in the center of the inside input field so I need to select the label tag and inside but I need to use the position right here and inside that I need to use position or absolute then I'm gonna use top uh, 15 pixel a lot to zero pixel and I also use cursor pointer Pointer events none. So and look at that. Right. So let's go to the JS. It is very important and very uh, technical way to add the animation. But it is very simple. But you need to know how to work it. So first of all, you need to create a const and select the levels. 
document or query selector you need to select all of the content inside the form control have a level tab inside that I have a two levels tab one and second so first of all I need to extract one by one content mean word by word so I need to use levels dot for each I'm gonna use uh, albial means level so first of all I will use LBL inside the console what happened when I will get the result so I am able to see email and password but after that I will use the dot in HTML then you will get only text without level text right now as you can see so once you've done that then in a minute I will select LBL dot in a html and you need to use lbl dot in a text you need to split that means you will extract word by word character by character so you need to use a split function and inside that so let's look at what happened um, I will give you practical example on that so I'm gonna use LBL txt then I will remove that then solar law LBL txt so seven inner text is another function uh, in our okay so right now I'm able to see E M I R L word one by one I have split that and stored that inside the variable but we don't need to store that I just show you how you can access that so after that after I split the that so I need to use map function that help us to add the animation or add the tag inside the level tag so what I need to do on there I need to use map function inside the map function we need to pass two parameters the first one is the letter the second one is index number right but I also use like that then I need to use literal template and inside that I will create a span tag in the span tag I will use span tag starting and closing and first we're gonna save it inside that I need to use the dollar letters like this one right means we're gonna display the letter and this is the index number that I help us to display the index number 0 to whatever the number is so I need to use style on there and the style is you need to use transition delay so colon and I need to select IND times by 50 milliseconds 50 MS that's it so save and right now I am able to see each character is different but we need to use join function on that to join that cell and right now as you can see but we need to use the a little bit of CSS to manage that so yeah I'm gonna use CSS so in the CSS we need to select the level tag inside the level tag here is span tag but before using a span tag I will share with you span tag Mm. Okay, just cancel that log and you will get the result right now as you can see this is painting the style is transition delay 0. ms and after that delay 100 millisecond 200 millisecond and so on so far so there is a code right now as you can see um I'll a, S, and so on, so far, right? 
so yeah i'm gonna undo that and save it so i go to style.css inside that i need to select level span tag in the span tag i need to use display inline block after that i need to use font size will be 80 pixel and i need to use main width 5 pixel then i will use transition 0.3s and cubic bezier and this will be um, at zin i'm gonna use negative on that 0.55 comma also i need to use comma as well and 0.265 comma 1.55 so first we're gonna save it then we need to select that and no i need to select the this one because then the input field is focus and click that so the first one is focus so i need to use plus span take level span take comma and when is valid so i also select plus level span tag so what i need to do on there i need to change the color ddd and also i will add the transition uh, translate y transform translate y and i need to use negative 30 pixel so that's it it should be displayed perfectly so let's look at that right now as you can see right so this is a cool animation inside our input frame if you want to increase or decrease the size inside there so i have used the 50 millisecond but when you will increase that then it will display slowly right now as you can see right so whatever the number you will enter inside there then it will count as a millisecond as a delay time each character right so i hope you are understood as well all about how you can create animated login form using html css and also javascript so thank you very much for watching have a nice day